triplet number one, baby fever, yes. wajilo. Uh -huh. Second born, eh, peace, wairimo, wajoy. Yes. <laughs> and the other one, blessings, joki. Yes. Yeah. Hi, blessing, what's up, sasa? Mambo. Eh, na uni auntie. Oh. Mm. We ni auntie yangu. Yes. Ambaye ni host kirwara eh. when I was so desperate. Uh -huh. Ni nilijaribu ku commit suicide. Nili find out anakuja na ongea na wasichana and like why are you doing this? Eh, why because we argued about that and I saw niliona wasichana like 300 hizo kwa list wasichana BFF bibi wife wife mimi hata nilikuwa na save your bro. <laughs> 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 My friend, me nilikuwa na ito bro. Kuna wife, kuna babe, kuna queen baby, kuna auskiwa. Kai, kai, kai. So like that time I really wanted to go ni kamuambia, if you know she will not doing these things, bring your fun. Hey, my friend, what are you so? Me ni bro. This is a tip I tell all women. And I don't mind, you know me, I do my things mm. on air. Mm. If you want to move on and get into marriage, mm. and you're a Christian girl, so I can talk to you, I'm maybe talking to a Christian audience. Hiyo maneno ya kulala na mtu ngiyo ati, you're preparing for marriage as you, how you become intimate. And this person, because this is how you got here. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's not true. This is how you got to here mm. by sleeping with somebody who is not your husband. Yeah. This is how we are now on this show. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Cindy, True story. That is why we are here. Hello, good morning and a warm welcome to today's episode of Tales of Wanjiko. My name is Lynn Gugi and today I'm coming to you uh, straight from Kirwara, somewhere in Gatanga. And our guest today is Joy, 26-year-old mom of triplets, uh, who just like many other cases that we've covered before, was abandoned by her husband. Uh, and she has gone through so much at the hands of her husband and her mother-in-law. And today she is here we'll be getting to hear uh, her story and how she's bringing up her own babies but I'm also going to be joined by someone who you guys you are more familiar with uh, one of our resident uh, lawyers at the Lin Gugi Network uh, Susan Kagwe who will be giving us a couple of tips on today's topic and probably walk Joy through what she can be able to do to navigate this situation and as I always say when you watch this please watch it and ask yourself how can I actively participate in making sure that I am of impact to Joy's life and that of her triplets. Let's get to listen to her story and I hope today we get to come together and change her life all together. Triplet number one, baby fever, yes. wajilo. Uh -huh. Second born, eh, peace wairimo, Joy. <laughs> and the other one, blessings, Joki. Yes. Yeah. Hi, blessing. What's up, Sasa? Mambo. Eh? Na uni auntie. Oh. Mm. Uni ni auntie yangu. Yes. Ambaye li ni host kirwara eh. when I was so desperate. Uh -huh. Na ni ame kuwa kichunga wa toto na kuwa fanya massage na wakati wote. She's there for us. Oh. She's a blessing. Anaitua auntie who? Anaitua auntie Terry. Yes. Yes. Kataka. Uh-huh. Yeah. Auntie, ndi yao tutoi sasa. Hi Joy. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uko salama? Niko salama. Unajua unakaa jina yako? Asante. Aha. Ibu ji introduce kwa watu wangu. Kwa majina naitwa Jess Mondwa Gitonga. Um 26 years. Ah, nimebarikiwa na watoto watatu. 
triplets. I'm a blessed mother. Yes. Na nashukuru Mungu. Mm -hmm. So uko na favor, peace and blessing. Blessings. Blessings. Even yeah. ndio umewaita. Yeah. Mbona uliwa name hivyo? Like during the pregnancy time nilikuwa na wakati mgumu. Mm. Na siku anajua niko na tw uh, triplets. Nilikuja ku find out later nikibakisha when I was 7 months 29 weeks mm -hmm. so wakati nilielazo hospitali mm -hmm. pale Karita Mission Hospital nilienda nikamboa I have triplets na it's so scary like scan zote zimekuwa kisema twins umeshop na twins and then nikaenda nikamboa ta tunaona vichwa tano then eh? I was like eh hey, Tunaona vichu watana and I was like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. So because blessings alikuwa mefichwa, mm -hmm. I think peace and favor uh, ndi walikuwa naonekana. Mm -hmm. So waka kingine kamefinilua then, I wasn't that big at unafikilia nenda ni kama ni kondovu nenda kuza. So kondovu <laughs> ni <laughs> kuna. <laughs> As you can see my stomach. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yes. Like, it was so small at unge fikilia like na beba wa watoto watatu then kati niliambua it was so stressed clean like na ambia doctor leo me i'm so funny nikaambia pana kama kuna watoto watatu moja ni wenu na sitaki kujua then ilikuwa na hii maombi ya mungu i really wanted girls when i found out that i'm pregnant mm -hmm. i told god Usi upnipatie kijana. Kwa nini? Like, I've seen in our family ni mwona vile vijana wamekua kifanya. Mm. So like, I really wanted girls. Kusababu, I'm a girl to my mom. Mm. I've seen how many times I've, I've come in for my mother. Vile tumeshikana mikono. So I thought like, I'm pregnant. Mm. God, Anna prayed for boy, mm. for a baby boy. Mm. Me, I'm praying for girls. Mm. Let them turn like they're all girls. May want that bad of joy. We've seen a party mixed feelings. Mm. I've seen mom fighting battles because of me. Nimeona mama mekopa mandeni. Ame any to go to upa mekopa mandeni because initially I was very sick. Mm. na battle. I asked my mm. mother on a skin, Nikona kidneys. So she's a single mother. Where is dad? <laughs> dad? I can't say much about him because it's okay. you don't have to. Then I was so depressed kwa your pregnancy time. Mm -hmm. It was up and down. So wakati niliambua ni triplets, kuna Dr. Sheila Kalila Mission Hospital. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Ali Nisaidia is a gynecologist. Like when I went there and said na beba twins nikawapatia scan, alianza kunieka ndawa za kuweka because he predicted like how watoto watazaliwa prematurely. Mm. So walianza kunieka sindano like zilikuwa mingi I can't remember lakini ni mingi. Then siku ule I was not that strong. Mm. Ningedungwa nasikia sasa hata kama nasikia kwenda washrooms. Ningesikia kizunguzungu ni amke. So nilikuwa na naamkia maybe afternoons mm. na yako masindano then mm. I was in pain. Mm -hmm. Daktali ya naniambia watuto atazaliwa bila kufikisha, wacha tuweke nda wazarangs. Mm. At least wakizaliwa, umali watazaliwa, tuko tu save. Mm -hmm. So by God's grace, because like, during that period, nilirudi kwa mungu tu and I told God like I've backslidden. Yani I repented before God. I really wanted these girls to meet like, wapati ule mama tu wameokoka like, I'm just... I wanted to be a perfect mom, like I am. Since I come up the best mother, oh. I believe you in believe. the next 10 years, You'll they'll be. see this yeah. and they'll appreciate me. Mm -hmm. I was 25 years when I gave birth, but then after the birth of my children, I was just there for, for myself. The father was outside the Kenya, in mm. Afghanistan, mm. and you are not talking. No, no. You are not talking. Okay. You're not. Let me take a pause here. Yeah. So you gave birth all by yourself? Yes, but but that time, you see, it's in Kirinyaga, mm. Moya Hospital. Mm. 
that time I was staying in Wetaibia. Mm. So, like, we had rented like a small house. Mali to record to Nenda to Nenka Vitu Zetu. So, contract Yangu Nikuisha Elisha. Once you are nearly talking because of pregnancy or anything else, contract Yangu Elisha on September 23rd. Like you were working? I was working in Afghanistan. You were working in Afghanistan? Yes. Tell me about that. I did my college. Back in the year 2018, that when I sat for the ISO papers of Misho. Mm. And from there, 2019, I was able attachment for six months. Uli tomea nini? Uh, hospitality, food and beverage. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. So I did certificate. Yes. But to take you back to black college life, mm -hmm. wakati I was high school, I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to so like, sick one I'm making life mm -hmm. hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Maybe na mom, mm -hmm. we were there. We were just there. Mm -hmm. So high school life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nili fika form three. Nili nili kosa school fika psa. And then I remember my mom she was battling depression. Maali li kwa na fanya kazi pia. Shylocks loan severe. And so I remember that night when she came home, mm. she was so depressed at a second and gave Kilia Mamango and Gejiwa. So I can be joy at una rent, joy auna dawa, joy to tafungwa nyumba joy akuna chakula. I remember telling my mom, let's pray. God my prayer was very short. Asanti mungu na pitia yote, asanti ni mimi uli chagwa ni mimi uli pitishia kwa yo yote amen. So ni kambia mamu ni patie simu. She was a treasurer lakini si walo wakuwa diko wa Kenya Plantation waka siu ni nika pata jini ya Francis Atuali. Ni kamambia, hi dad, my name is Jess Gitonga, bra bra bra, mi ni mtoto wa sec treasurer Timau Branch. I would like to meet in person. I have personal issues. Na and I'm struggling. I can be and I'm not in school because that time I was in a day school. Then a day second I so like I prayed about it. Nika mumbi uyum to a jibu messages, but through Christ who <laughs> gives us strength, I command you that you're going to receive my SMS. Now I chukua just like any other SMS. Imagine lean at three AM in the morning, I received a message. Ni mtu si jawai yongea. My daughter, if I were you, I could come at Nakuru. At my age, najua Nakuru wapi, siju Nakuru. Then I go dress up. Mama ana school fee. Ako na zile pesa. Ana anything like my small sister alikuwa na saidua. Kuna ka sponsor alikuwa mepata. So zile alipatua, ni kamombi uta nipea hizi, ni kimbia na akuru, na kesho masa kama itu dipe deni zako. Haku amini until I received that message. So ni kaendea balansa shule, ni katua. Nakuru. Na aa, kithi dhina kwanza shule. Ni kachukua balansa shule, ni kasema ipigua mwaka yote. Unona, it was an opportunity for me ni lipua mwaka yote. Then ni kambia mama, I'm not comfortable being in a day school anyway. But my go my father is go is going to sort out this. Nikamwambia kaka masina baba, me I have a father in heaven. So lean yo sikwinge na ni mimi uyo na kuru. Nikamboa kujia America hotel. Kone kuri kona smartphones. Ni ata mama kona kamuli kato muizi. Mimi so na enda na kuru but with faith. Uyo ile yo fifty fifties. This person ane zakata kuchukua si muzako is a busy person as you know him. So ni kama mbia dad. Ame na kuru go to Midrad hotel. Na jo Midrad. Me piki piki pele kwa Midrad. I think it's one of the biggest hotel pare na kulu. Mimi deo yo joy. And this is at only you are talking to? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mimi deo yo joy katotoka dogo tu. Naenda yo so small. Naenda tu Francis Atwari. Naenda kwa hoteli then. Na keti hapu na uniswa who God where I am. Finally, na kulani na na day na wakubwa, so I couldn't believe. 
until ile Mercedes Benz iliingia niko na askari wawili niko katika mmoja ako mbele mwingine ako nyuma I'm escorted okay i was so excited but i thank god it was a life changing opportunity for me because we didn't meet in the hotel ali request niende kwake kwa nyumba nikae kwa gari we traveled nikaenda kwake wakati nilimuona hivi like greeting so it was 10000 and the bibi yake aliyofurahishwa na mimi my dressing code aliniona tu god choice welcome then i'm like thank you you disprint to i think nilitoka hapo na 40000 <laughs> <laughs> nilitoka na 40000 <laughs> hey you see in my heart i'm saying like mom ningekuwa na kasi mkingine nikupigeni kuambia jana nilikwambia aje tunaenda kulipa maroon tutakula yani i was just so excited aka niona kaniuliza joys you look so smart thank you no no na kuna ile mixed feeling ya uoga mimi nikipewa pesa na zieka kwa hard bag <laughs> so I'm, i'm just waiting aki situmalize tu hata si, sikuwa na ngoja tuongelelee kitu kingine so they are like nilitoka na 50000 i remember very well sababu nilitoka na 40 uh, that is something then kwa office nikapewa pesa na hao wakubwa unaona sasa unaitwa mtoto wa mkubwa mtoto wa mkubwa mtoto wa mkubwa <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is francis atoli yes uh, shout out <laughs> i mean i wow i uh, is a good person na na kuambia ni Oh. It changed my life. Okay, that was unexpected. So <laughs> shout out Francis Atoli. Francis Atoli. Like. So alu lipewa pesa ya shule? Sasa hata ujasikilize ah, story. Ah, pole. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna kitu kubwa ile hapa. Nikaenda unaona akaniuliza yes my daughter tell me nikamwambia mimi nilifukuzwa shule. The school naenda mbali. Niko mgonjo bro bro bro. <laughs> Akaniambia how oh, much is that day school? 10000 only yes <laughs> i'm like yes but i would like to go to a boarding school i can you lose i go to my daughter go back to the previous day, uh, boarding school and we sabwe fees ya mwaka yote nitalipa so i was in form 3 mm. nikaenda nikagonga ya form 3 na form 4 mm-hmm. ilikuja like 90000 then siku anilikuwa na special debt because of my my yes. yeah, my eld yeah. <sighs> sasa nimeenda nyumbani kurudi yeah. nimerudi na mapesa na nimerudi na 90 nimerudi sasa nimerudi na like 50000 yes. nikaambwa niende shule alafu nipeleke kupeleka ile nilipo shule form 4 form 3 and form 4 wow Francis Atwedi thank you so much <laughs> You saved me and you saved my family and I appreciate. Nilifika mali niko because of you. Thank you. So, hi, that's Francis Atwoli. Yes. yes, and wow, that's amazing guys. This is the part where we post because you guys need to give a shout out to uh, Francis Atwoli. Yeah, and it's getting sunny where we are. So guys, we have to move uh, to a different uh, location. In the meantime, hashtag Thank you Francis Atoli. Haya yeah. twende hapa nyuma. Haya. Beba tu vizuri. Chole sasa mkavin kwa maisha yangu. Nimemaliza masomo without stress. Mm-hmm. Bo nilikuwa I was battling diseases asthma. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa na shida ya tumbo. Mm-hmm. To see the gynecologist and they like I didn't perform well in high school. Mm-hmm. It discouraged me <laughs> like but i didn't give up mm-hmm. so hapo kutokana na hiyo anko yangu ilikuwa like joy kako wapi nitafutieni joy mpigeni simu kabra nirudi nairobi mm. nikapigwa simu dada na kuita so it was so difficult kumuita dada mm. and like niko na hiyo perspective sasa huyu sasa mm. kaniambia je nataka uende college nikamwambia siwezi enda college mamangu hata nilipia 
ana pesa ya kufanya hiyo kazi na jaribu 1 2 3 mm. angetaka lakini sitaki ni pressure mm. the moment mm. wacha tujaribu kuklear zile madept mm -hmm. anko jela ndo akasema hapana alikuwa anaita ananiita kamwe mm. <laughs> na kimeru mm. alienda nikaingia shule he paid everything for me wow alinilipia college life I was I was having a good time college nikiwa kwa aunti yangu school fee kwa anko ikuwa shida alikuwa na loans but ali asimamishe kila kitu na watoto wake wako university usisahau anipeleke shule mm. is is kind of a father pillar in my life mm. baba mwenye sisi sahau mm -hmm. na yale amenitendea so mm. kamaliza college vin After the 2019 wakati nilikuwa attachment nilienda Melo Slopes si kutoka Melo bado mm. kwenda Melo Slopes nikapenda ku specialize na pastry sababu hot kitchen pia singezana nayo mm -hmm. so wakati nilienda hot kitchen pastry kuna mzungu alikuwa anakuja na kula pale so siko like anakuja na family yake na kula naenda but angeona vile aunge dhani hata niko trainee pale mm, mm. na jaribu kusoma mm -hmm. as much as i can mm. mm -hmm. mzungu wakati alikuja alianza kusema oh you see we have we have a friend in uk i gonna connect you to this restaurant and i'm like oh really? so mtu anaenda uk lean that time kila kitu ile change kwa maisha yangu may not lie nilianza kujiona sasa okay hata kama sijasoma sana naza travel in the uk ayo aj nikitoka huko nikaenda nikaambia mam mam kuna mtu alikuwa anatuambia kama tuko na mtu uk so mam stella lakini so unfortunate mm. hatuwezi pata mtu huko mm. sasa but i didn't give up wakati alitoka hapo remember nilienda kwa hotel huko juu mm. with my phone mm. kuanza ku google nikapata hii kazi ya netherlands mm. park plaza sijui hata hiyo app digitaje mm. but i got an opportunity nikaitwa interview you qualifying bra 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 you can come so nikaitwa netherlands for the first uh, time amsterdam i don't have a passport I was so excited like mom in the next two months I'll be traveling na kuna ya ticket yani I don't know the cost is reason na kuja na kutoka Kenya so so finally there is this cousin of mine she's called Sherry Kashere mm. mm. she's right now in Canada alikuwa narudi Nairobi alikuwa amekuja shule the former school mm. nikaona sijui how we connected nikamwambia kuzo Ia pineza kwa ni ukweli akaniambia ni ukweli kabisa nikamwambia so unafikiria naweza fanya aje nayo akaniambia iko sawa joy endelea ku apply so my cousin akaona niko na passion na yeye anashindanga ame travel from australia canada mm. yani she's all over so nikaona i think uye anaweza inspire kufanya hizo vitu mm. akakuwa kini push joy and their passport wakati passport ilikuja kazi nangu alikuwa me introduce kwa hizi kazi za metro mm. za US army mm. nikakuwa na ule mtu passionate kutuma 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 kwa ofisi zao ziko hapa karibu Chiromo mm. nikaenda huko in person nikaanza kutafuta watu wa kunitrain kwenda Dubai nilikumbuka nikienda kwa Lilian sina pesa za kusign in mm. it was possible like nilipata kazi mm na nikapata opportunity ya kufanya kazi Kandahar Afghanistan mm. so tukatoka hapa nikalipo ya ticket everything was paid and salary ilikuwa mzuri kwa mm. <laughs> mbaya <Yeah. laughs> being my first salary mm. ungepata like maybe 70000 mm. so sina responsibility money. i took that job nikaenda afghani nikaenda dubai mm. then we stayed there for one week mm. Uh, Shalja Golden Sands mm. maybe it's a seven star hotel mm. <laughs> I may say mm. it was so exciting nilikuwa na ulcers so chakula huko ilikuwa shida na tulikaa hapo twende medicals na hakuna kutumia simu mm. so lazima utafute vile utamanuva huko upige simu but the same uncle Gerard before I travel mm. 
alinipeleka bank akanitafutia dollars kaniambia my daughter wezi enda hivyo mimi alinipatia like 20000 oh yeah akaniambia daughter you umeni charge at you is unaweza enda ufanye uende huko na i made it mm. i went there after six months nika pata huyo like he was a boyfriend tukakuja Kenya na huyo kijana you met each other in Afghanistan in Afghanistan mm. then like siku in too much in tweet nilitaka nijue kwa tukakuja na kijana <laughs> kapelea kwa kwa lakini <laughs> <laughs> tukaenda lin siku nikamuuliza first do you have a family that was like me all the time sikuwa tukue sikutaka tukue na engagement nikiwa huko nikuja nge niseme nili, nilichukua bwana wa wenyewe so when i came home nikaambua sina family me i'm that kind of a person niko much into my people my nieces my nephew niko dubai kale kakadi kangu nilikaeka pesa tukununua toys tukununua kila kitu chocolate for my cousin santi ametoka dubai yani <laughs> na working So yeah aku na nunua kitu was supporting me it was so good so kukuja nikapeleka kwa mother in law <laughs> she was so good but nilienda huko like kufika kwa barabara i have a son na hiyo wakati i'm going to say this mom nimeambua ni danganya kina mom like it was on the 13th of december 2019 wakati narudi Kenya so niliwaambia nilifika 15th unaona <laughs> so so moku spend night huyo kijana mama jui na mimi yo siku ingine namwambia mam kesho nitalad na nitakuja na wageni so mam stella so she is going to fight this today <laughs> so nikaenda nikapeleka kwa mother in law mm. nikaambia kwa barabara i have a son Then it was messy it was crazy you didn't tell me you have a son Why are you telling me now? Inanisaidia na nini? So umeoana. So nikamwambia siendi kwenu akachuki. Akaambia gari simame sababu so, tulikuwa tumechukua gari za embo ikasimama pale moyo tukaenda. Mimi I don't know how to hide my frustrations because I believe I was so innocent. Nikaenda kwa mama nikamuuliza so it has been happening. Nikaona kijana. He was a innocent boy. Nikamwambia we ngangana na vile na maisha yako aki wacha hata usinipeleke kwetu mama yake hapana joy she was like this kind of a christian person atakuelezea asha mwana dali na dhina bra 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 and like i went to my mom kijana ana insist twende akaona is this kind of a person is so cool ukimwangalia is just so innocent alikuwa how old he was that that maybe mm. He was so innocent like unaangalia sasa unaona mama kaniambia kama mama mtu ako na mtoto you can still work it out as long as ako na baby so mama ke aliniambia was not the wife mm. alikuwa the girlfriend mm. and in one in one well the other way nilielewa and we moved on we went back to Afghanistan niko Afghanistan i got engaged akaniweka pete So I got a got engaged mm. last kiango alikuwa hapo nikieko pete bra 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 Vitu zikaanza ku take us like the responsibility ya kukuwa bibi imeanza hapo I was working but in hours I was working 8 hours hata kuja kuchukua sapa because simply I'm working in a dining hall So I'm supposed to prepare sapa for him ni mpake nitampele hata ni pick up ni mpatie chakula There was this lady called Grace Akia she's in Iraq right mm. now mm. she was like my mother so ningeenda na mwambia how frustrated i am mm-hmm. Grace na kuja na niambia daughter <laughs> let's pray about it kijana alikuwa sasa tuko Afghanistan aribadilika at one point nilienda kufanya kazi night shift like anga kupigia simu akwambia good night and i observe it nikaona ni tabia yake is online but i'm not speaking i'm not talking on facebook like ikakuwa hapo rin na nikailet it go like that 
So nikakuwa nikimuliza Francis, do you know God? Can you tell me about your girlfriends? When you mekuwa na wawa hapo kitambo, mm. it was an issue because I was a prayer of woman. Grace ange kuambia, tungenda naomba nalia, nalia, nalia. Because like, I really wanted to have a family. I didn't want to be a single mother in the first place. Ni mwona kile mama mepitia, but hapa siku wanajua ni red flags. Halikuwa na rain siju WhatsApp mbili. One day, it happens like ali post, ali ji post kwa rain nyingine, but it, it was not a way like ali nipatia that number. Nikaona. So like, nikijaribu ku interact with friends, sana niambio usijaribu kukua na marafiki. So in Afghanistan, it was me, Grace, and him. Na Grace ndio ningeambia most of my frustrations, sana niambia joy achana na uyu mtu waki. So let's wrote it, I nikamambia mamu, but I'm praying for you, mamu engaged. Utaenda ajiku, utanzia wapi tena. That was my frustrations, mm -hmm. Rena. So to me, Goja, like my contract in Asia in Afghanistan is also added, but I said, instead of us to go home, all of us, to Narudi Kenya, Kuna COVID, to Narudi Kufanya Nini, I could discuss and I have this kind of money. So I said, I'm going to go to the house, 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 I'm going to go to Nyekenda nyumbani pale sita move twende kwa nyumba it was like a bed sitter but so spacious mm. nitaka hapo <coughs> kuliko tuanze expenses zingine mm. na niko na mgonjwa pia nyumbani shoshe yangu mm. so i found out like i'm pregnant with our watoto then <laughs> mashida zilianza hapo we had disagreements zenye singeza kusema hapo but they were very serious mm. Like I couldn't tolerate them. Nika choose to kuka kwa nyumba because like wacha tu nikae kwa nyumba lakini kuna vitu sitafanya ini ni kufuraishe mimi kama joy. Mm. So haka anza kukua haka ni broke. Because I was questioning him like kuna vilo nakanga lino nasikia. All is not well. What are you doing? It's not right. Na I could feel it. Na mambi it's not right. Akajua basa kani block WhatsApp. So mnaishi pamoja saa hii na kublock ama kila mtu wako dhi. Sasa hizi niko Kenya mm. amepata kakazi. Mm -hmm. Wapi? Afghanistan. Amerudi tena. Mm -hmm. Mashasharif no. Mm. Ali exit. Mm -hmm. Nikamwambia waenda it wasn't like he didn't have good salary. Kwa hiyo kazi yeye alienda mashashali. Mm. I didn't see his contract but that what he told me and I believed. Mm. So kurudi huko kwenye like I'm pregnant I felt like I'm pregnant three months like I could suspect it like na nyambe ah bebo acha na nayo let it be mm. but you used to know like I'm pregnant because of the reasons when you sit a same let it be Lin hapo ndo mshangu ilianza he was so good he was supportive and gani to me a pesa lakini wakati wa kushopia watoto when it was on March last year, he stopped sending money. You see, we're not communicating, but you know, know the other way they are communicating with the mother. Mm. So Nikakuja, he made sure like, Kurudi nyumbani sita, Rudi nyumbani, could discourage me, umeokuwa mkubu, unapaso sasa uanze maisha yako. And mom Stella can tell you. And I came back, nilika kwa nyumba for three weeks. Staki, na lazima ni muombe rusa. Ni muombe naenda wapi. Every move lazima ni muombe naenda wapi na nafanya ni. Mimi after long years, najite, like, I'm a, I'm a wife, like, in quotes. I'm a wife, but it doesn't have to be. It's not near. I can't talk to my family. I can't go and see them. Ununa sasa yo mashida frustrations. Mm. Na muliza na kwa mamu ni kienda. Kwa mamu yangu watu usi ni ombe rusa ukienda. Lakini kwetu lazima niombe. Uh, December 31st, haka, alikuwa aniongeleshi sana 18th of December mm. 2021. Hakuwa aliacha kuniongeleshi. Then I'm like, what did I do? Let me send him an apology as we're crossing to the new year 2021. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't know where I went wrong. Miss Amehe, he didn't reply my email. Lini likuwa naona let alone kwa social media vile walikuwa 
zilikuwa tu natumiwa zingine na marafiki zangu na sikira what is happening bwana anko kwani anakuanga aje sikuwa na jota facebook aliniambia ili akiwa mm. so he blocked me <laughs> so that sitakuwa naona zile vitu ata anafanyanga because niliona kitambo and i questioned nikamwambia it's not right at all I can see the way you're dealing with girls na it's not right if you're serious you committed with this relationship kuna vitu utaacha sababu sifanyi and you expect the same thing to me kijana tuka tukatoka hapo we continued like that mpaka wakati wa kupata mtoto mm. so rain mm. on 16th of march as i early told you i was breast with triplets <laughs> So I was supposed to go for an emergency theater lakini like something that didn't happen. Mm. I saw God. S- I saw God saving grace sababu nilikuwa kwa kitanda ya theater. Mm. Nilikuwa kwa nimepatiwa bed rest in the hospital for the last okay. three weeks. Yes. And you sayote ukiwa hospitali mm. does the boy the boy your boyfriend anajua kwenye uko? I was in my mother in law's place mm-hmm. wakati sasa wakati ilifika ile ya kafiu kuna kafili kuja karibu na April yes. once April yes. so nikaambua toka unaenda nyumbani kilinyaga mm. so we end the disagreement ninataka kwenda Meru utaenda Meru nikasema after all kuna watu ujui mate yao acha tu niti niende mm. kwa my mother in law mm-hmm. na yeye yako na mother in law mm-hmm. the husband Is still in Afghanistan. Mm. Is he calling you? Is he texting you? He used to send me messages, mm. emails uh, once in a while. Hi babe, how are you? You say like I'm fine and that's all. I'm fine. Mm. That was Bona muna communicate kwa email something <laughs> You see him. he blocked me like you've tried to reach him with the numbers zenye unajua has he ended has through? He ended. Wakati alinipigia ni kabra nitoke dhika akaniambia mimi niko na covid na nikikufa mm. wacha watoto wangu wajue ningekuwa baba mzuri na i did all the investment for my daughters then lin hiyo kitu lin so i don't know ndio aliniam block hapo mm. i was up and there we are kufa unaona hiyo distance relationship ako na covid <sighs> mm in a pest stress and there after there mm. akani broke akani danganya simu ilipotea mm. ikaretwa Kenya mtu akurudi vacation na mimi ni yule mtu akusema sawa but in reality nilikuwa namuuliza simu iko na screen protect inaweza kufa je screen so that was the lines mm. but nilikwambia marafiki zangu they could screenshot kwa facebook wanakutumia wanakwambia wewe ni bwana wako kweli angalia tabia so i could tell the mother but the mother was like asha tigwa hana ni goma mm-hmm. oh that's not how he is that's yeah, the devil that's the devil mm. and i thought like it's okay maybe it will work one time mm-hmm. so amekuja ni deliver watoto akaanza kuwafuatilia sasa kupiga video call all mm. times mm. nikiwa pale hospitali because i stayed in incubator for one month the babies were born premature they were born with seven uh, i think the last cases it was 29 weeks mm. maybe that 30 weeks mm. with 1 kg each then it was normal delivery mm. but the position they were in alikuwa transverse breed na sijui nini sasa hiyo ya huyo mwingine mm. so pale maternity wakati wangu wa kuzaa it was like chaotic the gynecologist was called nilikuwa theater i can't come just give me one hour to rest i'll be there jaribini vile mtaweza watoto wastoke lakini it has to be theater mm. unajua ni watoto watatu mm. we need to save those babies lakini nipatieni tu one hour nilale dr shila lakini wakati mimi nilisikia like maji mm. i didn't knew like vile delivery zinaendanga mm. me screamed the whole hospital Dog! help i'm dying student daktari mwenye alikuwa na night shift my midwife Thank you so much. She came in. Mm. Nikaliza ni nini? Nikamwambia mimi sijui. 
na sijui i was tensed joy it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right it's not okay mm. then nasikia pains that oh god it was drama mm. it was so serious akapigia madaktari wenye walikuwa kwa sarode kale kastana ka triplets kameanza ku deliver tunaenda mm. aje na tunaanza wapi mm. Ino leon hospital yote wanafunzi wote so na do you have to repeat mm. there there mm. so since the next move akiangalia tena akipima alipata kichwa ya first born mm. what are you going to do tutoe huyu tukimbiza wengine theta sababu of the oppositions so like i don't know how it happened it happened in a twink of a minute she lost si kuweza ku push of course kuna vile wanafanyanga like i started vomiting in the process mm. nikashindwa ku breathe my first born by god's grace akakuja mm. nikatengeneza nikaeko nikatengeneza hizo niniza drips a catheter kwa kitanda hospitali na pereko mm. for operations mm. so wakati nikwa kwa kitanda ile kwenda theta nikasikia uchungu nikasema oh god come <laughs> on you push <laughs> sijua nisikia ni mwambie kama ni nini nilikuwa inatokea kwanza mm. kari toka <laughs> and when second baby she just came out i don't know how yes. <laughs> she came out in the bed of the eta ni karudisha mm. pare mm. that is after 10 minutes mm. delivery a baby fever mm. baby pesa amekuja yes so 15 minutes but the sister they are confused mm. am i going to go for to the theater. to the theater for the other baby mm. niko pale kitanda iko hapo kadhete imetolewa sasa yeah. wapili watatu amekuja amekuja amesko vizuri kamelia vizuri but it was so scary sababu mimi sijaona mtoto amezaliwa so na ni kadogo kanatoshana hivi ni kama kapanya i used to call them to kutupanya twangu wakaenda wakaekwa kwa oxygen kwaekwa kwa oxygen i didn't tell anyone immediately like nimepata watoto watatu who was there in your family no one you were alone i was alone mm. my, my mother in law was supposed to come up kukuja mm. sababu ni usiku na waji then daktari alikuwa amesema by 34 weeks mm. nikae bed rest mm. Mali nilikuwa na inua miguu hivi. Okay. Kicho so hakujua na deliver hiyo siku. So mm-hmm. si kuambia immediately. Mm. But sasa wakati wa kwenda kuona watoto mother in law called her she came of course. And thank you so much she came na mpenda bando mm. regardless of whatever happened. Mm. Alikuja na pampas. Akapata hata sizi kutoka kwa kitanda sina nguvu kabisa na watoto niliwapata. Mm. Then the doctors they introduced kangalu. Mm. The mother came. Mimi niko hapo na mtoto wangu so journey my painful story ilianza hapo. You have three babies, you have to do kangalu, mother care one hour for each. Maybe twice a day. You have to express milk yenye sina. It took like three days wakati niliona the kuna wakati kuna student nurse alikuwa maybe siji kama naweza mention mm. alikuwa on duty akakuja siji watoto wana drips tunakaa tukibroke so ni ile kutafutilia na hiyo vein kupata kwa watoto ilikuwa shida so daktari angekuja dunge adunge aone mm. hapana anasema hapana tutakuja kudunga kutafutilia mtoto mm. unaona ni kama amefura kudunga dungwa zina broke mm. nikaona alienda akatafuta oxygen akakimbia bas nikajua na before that Reni Leona twins wamezaliwa i think with 8 months walikufa nikiwaangalia the last one alifanya hivi na kakanyamaza kwa the next incubator and the same week kuna mama alilose mtoto so what was it the next thing it's me joy mm. kwanza wangu ni wabaya so like i was so nervous after i saw the whole thing it was allowed 4 am I went straight to the bed of onto that to the bed where I was like I cried to God I told God I'm sorry but all I'm asking you to do to me don't take my daughter away just give them to me as a gift don't I really cried for one hour nikamwambia na stoki hapa bila maziwa it's so painful 
poor mother, like you called a mother, you don't have the milk, there is nothing for your daughters to survive. Me, I cried, Lynn. I cried. Mm. I told God, Lynn, Musa, you come here to talk to your Babila. Why can't I see you saving that today? Why can't you do this to my daughters? But that day, I remember even my mom went, I came to see my daughters. Walienda bila kuongela shana, walisema, awa ni wako na mungu, yani they didn't say anything. Wali wana kwa incubator. They went crying and my mom stared and she was like, Joe, I need to transfer you from that hospital. You come to where I work, I need to be with you there. Akenda kasema sina pesa lakini ambulance itakokuja utoke hapo nikamwambia mom no this way they were born and if they were to die watakufia mero pia nikikuja let me trust god then that is the time that I realized there is god who is and you wants us instantly maziwa ilifula matitile kwa na matumaini mazii kaanza kumwagika lina suffered but doctors in that hospital, they were there for me. Which hospital is this? Again? Kalila Mission Hospital. Kalila yeah. Mission. It's hospital. in, in Mkilinyaga. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I wanted to bake a cake for them, Dr. Magia Neza Kwambia. Sababu the care I received, the student they were assigned. Mm. Dr. The matron mm. was like, Joy, akona watoto watatu walalangi. Wacha tu muasaini wa sichana watatu. Wanakuji wana muangali, wana shika. Mtoto wakika mwe naenda na lala, wana shugulika. So as it was for midnight, mm. uh, over the night shift, nilikuwa na watu wangapi, wakukuja kukuangalilia watoto. Sijoi, una mtu alimistrate watoto wangu. They were there for me. We were talking sababu. Tulikuwa some of them were edge mate. Mm. Tulikuwa tunaongea. But singe share what I was going through. Wangeona baba yao wamepiga wanafikilia I have a happy marriage. And then it was happening. Mm. Until when ilifika wakati wakuenda nyumbani mm. kwa my mom in law. She was so good. She was sending me food when I was there at rest. Angeni tumia supu, uji na chakula. Something that I don't take for granted. You helped me. You cooked for me. You cooked for maybe Ulinifanya that time what you did to me. Mm. And I appreciate you so much because my family was not there. My mm. mom was not there. But you, my mom in law, was there for me. Mm. Thank you, regardless of, of whatever happened. Mm. So kwa mother in law Lynn, mm. apo ndiyo jani yangu ilianza, natoka, I was, a, I was like a slave. Sababu, why do I say this? Lynn iliambua that village watu si wazuli. So that means it, niwewe na mama yako, mm -hmm. niwewe mama kwanza ni una breastfeed wale watoto. Mm. Wate msa tatoka seme she sick, na nguoza watoto zimejazana, what am I going to do? Kuosha. Mm -hmm. Lini liyosha nguo, mugonga nguo ilialibiki hapo. Na najua kuna pesa za kutusupport, ni zile blouse sa nauza, ndizo tunakula na tunakunywa. Mother in law. Mother in law. Kuna nan, alininunulia mkepe moja. I remember introducing popos to my babies when they were three months. Remember this are premature babies. Mm. Na daktari alasema wakunywe nan, na wasiongezwe kitu at least five months mm. tuone kama watapika. Mm. I remember introducing popos, maziwa hakuna. And then she's that person, mwenye utuambia kitu wakuangalie tu. Ah, hata kujibu lakini ukansi. Mm. Chukua savings zangu, anzia kutafuta nana. Yani, anzia kununua diapers. Then my savings were trained like that. Mm. Up to today, nearly fight our toto just to see them growing. Tuka toka kwa mother in law kijana tumbe alikuja Kenya akajificha. Alikuja Kenya akajificha? Yes. Ulijua aje? Me I can show I have evidences. Mm. There is a friend of his. Amekuja Kenya amejua umeza watoto na badaku jiaome watoto wamejificha. Alikuja June 8th 
I remember my friend telling me, testing me, sending me the number that he was using to call other ladies in Kenya. Mm. So I found out. I was calm. I waited to the mother. Mm. I was so heartbroken. I remember texting him, what you say you do to me? It's it's okay, it's okay. Nili kuzalia tu watoto. But that is the path that you've chosen. It just a little kwana mapen zikweli. There was no love. After like when I came back to Kenya, there was nothing like that. Sabo but Amalia he'll get to hear it like I started to think otherwise the love I had for this person like why 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 is it because you have triplets the mother in law who was slave you were waking up at 11 i remember nilikata kumaliza uji two cups and from that time she has never cooked porridge for me so niko na watoto na mka nimpikia uji nipike uji yangu nifue you couldn't hear like angekuja to <laughs> but I still forgive them because when he came back like Mama Kelly Muita in China, Alisema is just sorry, like it hurted me. Nanelikwa nambuwa na ku nafunzo kukwa mama secrets za mama. I wasn't calling my parents. I wasn't saying anything to them to my aunt who was so cross to me. Na kuwa mama. Unafau kuwe bibi. The person I kuwe bibi na kuwa chane. So that was like my mother. And at the time she called, call me Kelly Mwageke. Mshinga wewe. Oh God. Your mother-in-law. Yes. What she made me go through. Then I believe she was a prayerful woman. <laughs> she was praying, then she's right. I'm the one who to sacrifice, then I think I'm the one who is in the wrong. Is She's right. No, mm -hmm. you're not a fool. Mm -hmm. Hey, no. Joy. Hey. 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 Look at me, look at me. Mm -hmm. hey. 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 You are not a fool. Hey, Joy. <laughs> Joy, mm. you are not a fool. Are we together? <laughs> you are not a fool. Are we together? Yeah. No. Do you believe? I do believe. You are not a fool. Come on, you are not a fool. Okay? Mm. All right? Yeah. Sawa. Mm -hmm. how, how did you leave? So, like, when you came back, mm. I found out Brother Kekwa, the small house I was mm. living. Rushikana na brother ke wakani amisha. Like, wali hama iyo nyumba na the kiatika was to take me vice versa. Whenever I wanted to go and see the house na mbua nyumba ijaripu ilifungwa. You see now? Na aliamia uko. Na alia, wali toka uko waka hama na brother ke. When he came home, tunaishi na brother angu. And in my little senses, the brother anako, maybe hajawana wako na wasichana. Ata waleta apu waku wapo. I found out like there was something cheeky happening and there is something which is happening. I started to question myself. I want to move. In the first place, I want to move. So when he came, he was like, Watch at when they call us as you are called Job Joy to Kaenda. Ma atu kuenda mother in law kasema ni ata sema to tenda lini kwa wazazi wangu. You get it? Mm. So we didn't. Mm. To kaenda kikui where we was living, and you kwa sha at saika yo biashali ya mabati. Sizu anauza mabati na brother. 
remember sijakuwa na msichana wa kazi kutoka mwezi wa ine mpaka saa hizi mm. so when we went there things were never the same again mama yake tukaenda akapata kijana alivanya shumba tuka move kwa two bedroom mm. house then akatafuta kasichana ka 1500 kaka kuja show squad anita she became my friend like ni ule mtu ningetolea stress we stayed with her for three weeks then ningeka in college kalikuwa i found out she was expectant nikamwambia ki mimi na joni kuna watoto wengi fwangu za watoto wangu na zako zangu na za bwanangu nitajifulia period mm. nipikie lunch mm. sasa nitakusave mami mm. sikuwa nataka one like you see the way mm. i'm carrying it mm. like nimeibeba na sitaki kubebesha mtoto wenyewe mama yake alipata accident alieta kaniambia joy so tukiwa hapo rin reality stress disrespect sianza wakati nilienda kwa hiyo nyumba at initially before i moved kwa mother in law kijana alikuwa na paswa kuja saturdays na sundays angekuja sunday jioni na saa kumi ananiambia amko ukanipikia chai naenda mande sasa hiyo sunday amko nipikie chai he was even calls unaona anakuja tu ile aonekane so i was struggling na hii mgongo yangu kumbuka the responsibilities of my wife kwa nyumba kwanza ya bibi kumbuka ama mother kumbuka ama ama housewife ama housewife ama yani it's all on me yani nilijaribu ku commit suicide nilifaid out anakuja na ongea na wasichana and like why are you doing this eh, why because we argued about that and i saw niliona wasichana like 300 hizo kwa list wasichana bff bibi wife wife mimi hata nilikuwa na save your bro ai what a joy at you listen i'm save your bro my friend mimi nilikuwa na ito bro kuna wife kuna babe kuna queen baby kuna ausuka Kai, kai, kai. So like that time I really wanted to go and come and be if no sure not doing these things bring your fun hey my friend what are you so mini bro and they was just talking to me to come over and like joke to kiwa ko my dream was to go to canada and work there and the only kwa na kale ka savings and then you be ni kukata migu enda Canada <laughs> Unasikia ni mtu anakupenda sasa nilikukata miguu so kukatwa miguu in short nilishakupea watoto Watoto watatu tatoka aje na wao eh. <sighs> Nika wakati kasichana kalienda nikamwambia ni ajilie msichana wa kazi hakuna msichana wa kazi viatu na mkanga saa kumi naosha nguo zake viatu zake napikia watoto saa mbili watoto watakuwa nakula mm. nilipeleka peace nikaelezwa na nutrition after every two hours let me try feeding them waanze kuongezea kilo mm. kumbuka kwa hiyo stress yote watoto wangu hata wanyonye vizuri sikulangi vizuri nilikondeana it was a skeleton self esteem yangu ilikuwa chini sijijui sasa me i'm just useless yani kirimuge ke na naona yenyewe nimekuwa mjinga mm. i was a star my mom she believed in me sasa niko wapi niko chini na utawaambia you were afraid kutoka kwa hii marriage unaenda wapi na watoto watatu then kwa account inasoma karibu almost to kit yenye itapeleka watoto wako mbali the next option fikilia suicide nikatoka kwangu we argued alikuja nikapata picha lin za wasichana like over 300 women ziko kwa laptop ni ile nilimwomba nikamwambia babe nisaidie laptop aku hiyo siku mama yake alienda lin what i saw there nitakuonyesha tu some i have the evidences wife 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 queen baby queen baby so it was like oh my god mimi ni bibi wangapi na kuna wenye naona walipelekwa nyumbani na mother in laws like dile dale hero modo na unawaona hapo na mother in law ye a a nyumbani background yes. sikuona na mother in law back the background yes lina you also tells nimeona wasichana wako na watoto so i'm like oh my god and it is happening now i'm in the mess ile past ya mtu nimekuwa nikiomba nijue this is the reality 
I could it, we did. Nilienda pale market na kumbuka nikasema rat rat niko na pesa ya rojin siji rojin siko api niko na pesa ya maji i go there i mix i die there let them say nilikuwa malaya kuliko ya vile nimeona they won't understand ukiambia mtu atakwambia vumilia mateso ndio mgongo hakuna and this this man was abusive he was abusive at a the other things me is on i can't even say but it was abusive to the extent that i couldn't hold my yulin so it was abusive nikajua joy naenda wapi i'm like i'm cast mungu ameona ni punish yes nilitoka kwa njia za bwana but this is the punishment this is the reality lakini si tangoja kuona hivi then wakati nilikuwa pale nikasikia worship Navuto kwenda kujiua so I went to the church I just cried I missed Pastor Priscilla Sikuomba I just cried I was asking God why why me why me three children abusive marriage and my slave and my starting my savings really Aliniambia rudi nyumbani je Mungu atakusaidia so like I met another friend I'm not going to mention her because I'll tell you mm. sit and mention kwa camera because of family issues mm. I asked her friend in marriage kuna endangaji there was so any zile topics you can't discuss with anyone because I really wanted to know am I a failure ni nini sijui akaniambia uno joy mm. jaribu vile utafanya mami gather yourself you strong lakini unaweza patwa na ukimwi tu just know the way you're going to do mimi mm. nakumbuka that day aliniacha kwa kitanda mgongo imeuma aliniacha watoto akaenda it was on 6th of november akaenda nini nimeuma na mgongo nimefua nguo ta siwezi anika nilikuwa natembea hivi watoto sijapikia kijana na yako na wafanye kazi alitoka kaniambia mende mabati alikuja six is was it six go to the hospital there is no money there is nothing yani toka wende hospitali naenda wapi na jua kikui uli ni mgeni ni mgeni hapo nikamwambia nitafutie flat shoes ili ni flat shoes na mali alikuwa toa pesa ni hapa kwa get via tuani chukulia hapo anileta alienda karudi saa moja na nyusu nikamuuliza what is that oh no gidish anaishi no nitawalea sitawapeleka hey, sitawapeleka chudle no mnitawalea akanisukuma hivyo nilienda kujishikilia kwa kitanda i cried nikaona i can't kill myself maybe let me go nijigongeshe gari Now what I have nikachukua bag with my documents na viatu nikatoka naenda wapi najua nikakumbuka in my mind but he could also take my phone and anifichia simu like kuna wakati alinifichia simu for one week na akipigwa na mama na mwambia joy hataki kutumia simu because my mom still I was like nilikuwa na mguzi lakini namwambia niko sawa mama Joy ako api na ongea na simu yake. Sita muombe nilinyang'anywa simu na ikafichwa kwa nyumba. Wow. <laughs> Lin, niliteseka. Nimetoka. Naenda wapi na lazima sitaweza sita kubeba watoto watatu Lin. This is my life. Mtu amekuja amekurushanisha. I have to like 12 other hours. Sijui ni nini nitaenda. Na huyu mtu amekutesa mpaka ame make sure umeisha. Mm. Akili yangu ikaniambia Why I am where I am today call your auntie auntie na kuja she ana sheha mombe tutaongea it was so painful to leave my I was at six year old babies six months and then when I call my mother in law she was like my son is not abusive na mwekelea I'm not questioning. I'm the, no, 
I said, sita bumilia mamu, whatever it is going to be, wacha ikue. Wanto tu wali nipata, you have to leave, to fight for them. Nika kuja kwa ante, she can tell you. Nini kuja kama na inama hivi. Tumbo imerudi huko nyuma rini. Ante yangu anezo ni mwita kwa mengia kwa nyuma kupatia ushuda. Two spoons ya chakula, I couldn't. Chai ninge kunyo kikombe moja the whole day. Mili kuna kitu na mbenga, ante na cheka. Ninge ono unenda chua unaka huko, I was like, kai una nafanya nini chua. Meme kukojua ni once in a day, chua ni tenda, maybe after a week. Ili piti ya mogumu. Nime toka. Nime kuja, I'm expecting like they can call me kijana niende watoto. He didn't. Walibaki waka kubalia na mama. Eh, she ana negura la. Mother in law, atalaya watoto. My mother in law, my friend. Niko na matiti zimefura. Naka mulia chini hata siwezi. Nika report gatanga children office. Nika waeleze wakaona it's an emergency case. Waka pigia kijana. They can give report on that. Vile kijana it was just, I don't know if it was rude or whatever. He didn't cooperate. Immediately alienda kani chukuli ya obi. Utaenda aji kuchukua watoto na kumechukuliwa obi. Lin, hapo ndiyo nilienda kotini. Nika atumo kwa alinaito wakili deni. God bless you. Because I went to that office. I didn't know where to start. Naka nifanyia kila pepa waka. Naka nitumia kotini. It was like joy and oji ni present hivi na hivi. Ame kuja na wakili wake. So I'm like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do on this? Akuna wakili, then they're like, nimekua ni kiacha watoto. Nas, ni kama I'm mentally ill. So like, when they came with those babies, miliwambia rudini na watoto, I've made a decision not to take those children. Just stay with them. One month, really. Mother in law kena watoto wako, atoto na jo ni premature babies, anything can happen. Uwanze kuwapatia maziwa ya ngombe, and the son could, on a shiana nishto shira, we give, to introduce them to cow milk, to cow's milk. Because he knew, like the pediatrician said, utawapatia none, something which they were not ready to take. Nene. Niliendea watu, siku ilifika. Like I came back, I was battering depression. And my sis, like, I decided I'm going to take my children. Whether I will die, let me die with them. Or you'll survive. Or I'll survive. But the day moja atakufa, that will be. I'll just commit suicide. But I reminded God, what did I tell you about my babies? <laughs> then my cousin said, God bless you, and when Jiro they came, waka kuja sela kona gali. Waka enda waka wafesi vitu zongu, kumbuka kuna zile kwa todas. Misi kwaza kutoka na kitu kwa hiyo nyumba lini. Nile nchiko, inye umeyona tu. Kwa mamu. Ika kuja ikatupo pale brufos. Nalikuwa melipa gali, nikambua chukua, nitaiacha hapo. Aka niambia nalipa gali ila iko na watoto, yende na watoto. And my cousin was like, is this making sense? But utalipia gali ya watoto, ipeleke jue na watoto kwa nyumba na mama yako na wenye umebeba watoto. My cousin said no. Nitachukua wa gatoto, nitalipia yu gari, awa warudi hapa saizi, kabura wanione. When we went to take the children, no we didn't. Walikuwa, they couldn't face you, they were afraid, sijui kama ni depression kuchapu, walikuwa na kuangaliwa na fanya hivi. They were avoiding everyone, they were very sick. Nilichukua watu tu wamefunga nata. I was counting days, I believe. Wakini patia watu tu walikuwa na juo what was next. Lini lipatu watu tu wameisha, calcium akuna. But nimekuja kwa nyumba, where am I starting from? I have children. Now what you mean? I love Jolly. What me on your shadow from the word go? I told God like sit up hotelia kwa pombe. That was not my option. 
I was battling suicide. Mafikila mengi ya kujiua. I'm useless. My aunt came and found this precious sasa. Kanembe joy. Nyumba sasa. Nyumba sasa tuko. Hapo utalelea watoto. Nikamwambia sawa aunty. Kwa account uko na nini? Nimwela aunty ana. Ni lufu pia tatu zimebaki. Mama ngo my sister she's in school I have to take care of my mother I don't want my mother to die and better die mm. I have this other children this is a tatufikisha wapi then that is the time ni si mama and fought for my girls regardless of the situation I became strong good nikaenda kote na could go there represent myself say one to three mm. Then I'm on be subject that you are it's not like that. Then nikaona mali kunaenda huko na wakili. Kote ni kuna vile kunaenda. Nikaona sama usisikilize. It's not usikilize. It's not making sense. Kuna mali statement it was like went to the someone someone was someone like sio kote ni tukaitwa amekata kulipa msichana amekata kulipa hizo pesa za diapers unaona eh, eh. wa someone like that point i don't know nilisikia like watoto ama wazazi wanaweza itwa wale watoto then i was like oh god it take that price i was so scared no no na bando na mbua mentally him mm. nikona that is the direction it's taking i'm not going to stand this hapo mm. nje nilikuwa nimeambua mambo ya fida I googled mama kaniambia je tafuta fida I googled fida contact I remember that what I did ni kaziona I'm Joyce he come to appointment I went there they listened to me me hata sikujieleza nikamwambia nitanyang'anya watoto ni saidieni the other three friends said of this Immediate rebranda she's an advocate she told me mama it is well it is sorted but lin here we are today koti niamwaje kote jamua tumepatua court orders afanye vile aliambiwa afanye aje ananitumia anga pesa like you see they they are taking nandri uko but your calls make they start to dilia does he send He used to at a kutumia 8000 you taking 5 tens of none that is around 7500 lini umebaki na nini hakuna they are taking at least to mine fish special meals come and then they go to see them grow sababelifika mali hata waongeze kilo ni mm. hata si wapeleka ngi clinic mm. pesa ya taxi was stood like anipatia nge cab analipa he doesn't do that yo pesa ya diapers alisema na danka nyanga atatuma diapers he sent to 1300 diapers uko na supplements zenye they are very expensive ni mm, utafanya mm. jina hizo pesa ingia kwa mfuko wangu bando zile savings wasichana anakuja naenda mama finally nikasema tu mama alikuja akapata i'm very sick your mom now my mother like i felt like i need to commit suicide ama nenda ni wapene but the thing is singa peno watoto wangu wakanikalelewa children home it was painful mm, moment mm. Ah, mama kakuja ka step in nikaanza kulala nikaanza kupikiwa nikalikava hivyo utaniona size hata mm. nikitembea kwa barabara i started to see myself like i'm beautiful mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like i'm worth mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Na mka na pata viatu zimeoshwa. Yaani mm. <laughs> something that I've not experienced mm. kwa wakati mrefu. Mm. Mom, mama yangu ndio hiyo mama. Kanifulia nguo, yani maji ya kuoga iko hapo. Aunty yangu na kio chondo kila wakati shia na hanata. Anakuja na masaji watoto. Woni aunty amepita hapa. Yake na hiyo kiapa. Hivyo sasa. Sasa amekuja. Joy lazima ukwe mrembo mm. au watu hata tuona hivyo hey. na ndio go kuama you no go to you going to live Amen. you going places Amen. and i was like okay the same joy so yes. i'm beautiful i started to take pictures uh-huh. sikuwa na nguo naona nguo mimi nguo zangu zilisha kitambo nilitoka hata huko sikuwa na nunuliwa nguo nikisema naambua ni siku ingine but when you see him outside 
is rocking and a varianga zile shirts are 2500 mm. kia to lazima i match so money can work when i take my seat are very expensive let me go for mtumba trousers like ips zimerudi zimerudi <laughs> Zime, <laughs> yes zimerudi <laughs> Yes, now mm, eh? court is also at an ekenda court in a corner. Could you represent? Yes, and on the other side, yeah. I'm bright than you. May I say that? Say it, yes, What's I'm it? bright like to kenda up on me below a killing it. I know one, two, three, your honor. I'm requesting this court. He has not been doing one, two, three, eh. so it's written, it's in court order 98 percent. I'm the one who is taking the, the the responsibilities of the girls is not yes. and is capable. Yes, Fungwanjela. See, I'm gonna be a shara. See, anafanya kazi mzuri. Anafanya kazi mzuri. Anakuja na gari hapa. Sija kwambi alikuja show off na gari. After like five months without seeing the babies, I can be at an illibarikio na gari. Yeah. Then this person and a kuliza squeeze me kwa mrembo. A kwa na nyongele shia kitambo kotini. But after Leona ni me heal, I've reformed si joy kuonu kwa kama katoto ata ukayo meza. Oh, sai we ni mrembo. Si sai zi ni mrembo. So ni kaju mm. meanza kucheza na psychology yao. Good, good. Mm -hmm. That it part is it important. It was my psychology mm. because later there, like, it was so good all of a sudden. Like in Watoto, Nilimuambia, do you know what, my dear? Me, I'm not going to die with this burden. Na leta Watoto kuwako with the OB from the police, uh, the court orders. Let me ask you, mm. sahi venye uko hapa, mm. sa yuko na watu yuwako. Yeah. In yumba sasa pandi umnaishi. In yumba muna rent na how much? Six thousand plus one hundred for water. For then water. For like five hundred. Yes. Yes. Steamer. Yeah. Na sahi na tutoto toa ko. Ni 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 na kukipingi strong ukiwa na. <laughs> the <laughs> children. Yeah. You're going to see them. Their blessings. Their blessings indeed. I've never regretted. Kama kuna kitu ni mevanya ni. Mejipea na ko. After years they look at mom and say like you great mom. Ata kama tulifanyo hivyo, you stood up for us. Mm. And they're always funny. Mm. They are all over the house. Mm. They bring you that joy. Especially mm. when I'm crying. Mm. They, they always know what I could do. They bring you mm -hmm. joy. What I could do. I could shake a camucono. Melala poko. Matu kiyompo. Wana kugonga. Gonga. Are yeah. you okay? Yes. And then what wana kujangu. Wana kushikilia. Mene mm. kingia po ukiono. Wata kuja. Mm. They want me to hold them. Like they give me joy. They give, joy. <laughs> they give me joy. Yes. Like they are blessings. They are true blessings. And you are also a blessing. <laughs> you know, you have to believe that. You I have to believe. believe. You believe. Actually, I, I be. I believe. Actually, I believe. I want to invite our resident lawyer. Kwa sababu, I know like many other people, they don't know where to go after here. So you kona watoto watatu. Ujui kama utawalea peke yako forever. Ujui responsibilities. Kama ni wewe umeachiwa sasa. Kama For ni mimi saizi. <laughs> ni wewe peke. Kwa jil saizi. Mm -hmm. Alishikuwa. Alishikuwa. I went there like, mm. you see, I didn't expect it. Mm. Alikuwa na wakili, but the wakili didn't come to the court. So yes. Anikasikia kitashiko. Bre, yeah. kani, wakili ongo wakaniambia pana. This is negligent. Eh. Mm. Joy, I'm there for you. I will walk with you. Mm. Na hii safali tunatembea na wewe. Mm. Wakili bre, God bless you. Mm -hmm. Fida, God bless you. Mm. Alinipatia that strength. Ya kujua sasa ata watoto. The custody like it's I jambu ni anani. But I was guaranteed of my custody. Mm. Of my security. Mm. Sabab, I didn't know like itaka aji. Itaka so Ita meko andani for how long? Meko andani for one month. Mm. Hakini aliniambia sina pesa. Mm. Mwezi moja si mingi ni tamaliza. Na tamaliza. And Lakini, he could call me when he is still there. Anasema? Watoto wadendele aji. We need to be to like it does spread my psychology. Like in a juangi na elewa. Anames na emotions zako. Daipasuna. You see? Nikamambia, you know what? If your Zik story doesn't exist, these children were given by God. By all means, they are going to mm. survive. Mm -hmm. Na kuwa kwa kuniuliza watoto wa naendelea juko, mm. kwa inanisaidia aji. Mm. Na si pesa una. Mm. Because, like, lini takuwa nyesha, I didn't like it, but 
I know one of them called me through the number they are using. Uyu mtu natuambia kona biashara, kona maprote, kona gari. Na nikamuliza nafanya nini jela. Siku ingina na nipigia simu, nitumia miambili. Ninunua mkate na mazio. Mm. So mali yako anakula na nakunyo. Na gari yake hiko tu. Sijui kama mm. ni brother aliendea. Mm. You see like me disconnected with that family. And it's important for I now. I disconnected with that family. Na I don't zent lili. Uta sikia ni kimpigia simu ni mulize uko wapi. Mm. Unless he calls. Mm. Kuliza watoto wako waji. Mm. But most of the times. He does call to pray with my psychology. Do you think kana kumanipilatingi? He does. Exactly, mm. that's the word. Mm. Ku, like, uh, I won't move on. I'm just there. Na nataka kusikia ni mefika wapi. Ununa mtu na kuambia wacha ni kuje kwa nyumba yako mm. ni kai na watoto for three weeks. For Christ, uh, for two, three, three, three nights. Then I'm like, we separated. This is the nine month. Unakuja kwangu kufanya nini? Unalipanga hiyo rent. Could it be like this person is sick and akuletea ugonjo? Uwezijua. Sindiwa. And then could it be like, kuna zile security questions you have to ask yourself. Mm. Anakuja kuwafania. Jini mm. kama mbi imagine kwangu wakunanga kitanda. <laughs> na akuwezi kuwakomodate. Mm. But I love my daughters. Mm. Wakimuona, mm. they look like him. Oh. But they are like, peace. Atashwek kichwa. Na kimfanya na actions. Mm. No, don't hold me. Mm. But I said, like, I'm going to start and be joy. Despite kuwa nilipati wa tutu watatu, either, didn't, either ka kama the definition they wanted to give me, mm. a kirimu, mm. like a curse, I treated these children like a blessing. Good, because they are blessings. They are blessings. So, ato ukiwaangalia, mm. they are blessings. They are so, blessings. So, Lynn, mm. nimesimama sababu, staki mtu wa nimanipirate, I'm no longer the, the naive joy he used to know, or they used to know, I'm a strong woman. Good. I'm a strong woman Good. and I'm studying farm for my daughters. Yes. And I'm not going to give up. Don't give I'm up. Not, I'm not. Yeah. 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 Lawyer Susan, are you ready? Because we have some few questions for you. Huh? Yes. Yes. Uh, Joy, as I told you, nowadays I travel with our resident lawyer, especially uh, matters like this. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I know, guys, uh, Susan is not uh, a stranger on the show. You've listened to her story before. Mm -hmm. And I could cite a couple of similarities mm -hmm. between her story and yours. Mm -hmm. And maybe before you give us your perspective about Joy's story and Joy, mm -hmm. feel free to ask Wakili Susan any questions that you might need to ask her right now yes. but before we get there maybe Susan you can reintroduce yourself to our audience yeah. and tell us what you think about this issue okay mm -hmm. thank you Lynn mm -hmm. so you okay yeah. I'm happy to be back yes. yeah it's uh, it's been interesting mm -hmm. actually since I came on the show life changed mm -hmm. and it's changed for the better Amen. I just want to even assure Joy, she'll see the change that when you, when you speak out, mm -hmm. there is it's very therapeutic and and something changes in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, as even an individual, even as a human being, mm -hmm. when you know I'm no longer quiet with my story, mm -hmm. somebody is going to hear my story, become encouraged. Yes, uh, life changes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lynn, my story has been a blessing to many people. You know, mm -hmm. it's good to come and give feedback. Mm -hmm. I get calls even now from all over the world, actually. Mm -hmm. Women calling me, I pray with them, I encourage them. So I really want to appreciate uh, this opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, Lynn, you're a godsend uh, to this generation and you're a blessing. Thank you. Yeah, and it, you're just starting. That, that's you. what I can be able to say. Mm. So there are a lot of similarities. There's something I want to touch on Lynn and I think uh, because she has a lawyer mm. who is doing a, an excellent job, mm -hmm. I want to touch on something that is very important. Mm -hmm. What is marriage? Mm -hmm. Because I'm hearing my young sister Joy mm. saying she's married. She's not married. She, engagement it's not marriage. is not marriage. Hey. Legally, there are only five marriages in Kenya. Mm. There is the civil marriage. Mm -hmm. I went to the ages. 
uh, there is a Christian marriage, there is a customary marriage, mm. and now every tribe has its own customs. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then there is the Hindu marriage mm. and the Islamic marriage. Mm. She's not married. Mm. So let us start from there. You are not married. <laughs> they yet we don't want you to get married. But yes. you are not You're married. Not married. Not married. <laughs> yes. In fact, wha when I was listening to her story, I think mm. uh, the, the, the ones listening to the show, my, my eyes are really red. I've really cried. Mm. Because I'm listening to this young girl saying, I, this is what my mother-in-law did to me. They've harassed her in the, in the, with that notion, she keeps saying, I was doing wifely duties. As a wife to who? Mm. As a wife to who? How? How? From where? Mm. And so that's the first thing. I think, please, our people, our audience, and I'm talking about Kenya. Mm. There is no issue even of come we stay under the law. What is in the law is what we call presumption of marriage. Mm -hmm. And presumption of marriage only comes up when you've been married maybe 15 to 20 years, mm -hmm. the whole village, the community knows you're married, and that presumption of marriage answers few questions. For example, your spouse has died. Are you going to be kicked out from the house you are living in, or is it presumed you are married and that is your matrimonial home? Mm -hmm. So presumption of marriage still does not make you a married woman or yes. man yeah. it just answers a few questions mm. to safeguard some of your rights mm -hmm. so joy mm -hmm. you're not married okay. let us start from there mm. <laughs> Thank you. do you believe so let me ask joy what made you think you were married like you see lynn i've been engaged then here comes the baby there comes our uh, minis in his house mm. and there comes I mean my mother's in law whatever. Yes. And <laughs> I think that what made me like believe you it are was a mm. marriage. Mm. Yes. Which it yes. I, oh, I, I, mm. I cannot see the reality mm. and say like you are not it was not. Mm. Yes. Even it was not a relationship. I don't know. You don't. Mm. Because mm. at a kukuja kwenu, mm. there is nothing he did. Even what we say that, uh, you know, there was some steps taken that there is an assumption, there is a marriage that is being put together. Mm -hmm. He has not done any step. Mm. Or he has done any. He was supposed to go for my parent uh, on October. Supposed mm. to. He was supposed <laughs> and we planned it. But so the he has mm, not. He has, no, he okay. has never. Yes. Mm. That introduction to your Kwenda, mom, I have a boyfriend. That's it. it. Do you think it's a mistake so many young people? Not even young, mm. even old. In fact, the other day I attended a wedding and uh, the, the preacher was a reverend and he's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So it was very, you know, during the wedding. And so he took up this topic. And where I was seated, you know now people never know who is a lawyer. You know mm. you're all attending a wedding. Mm -hmm. I think it was a cousin's wedding. Mm. The women who were there, our mothers, they were shocked. They started asking one another in Kikuyu, so we are not married. So they started, now you, what did he, you know, I, you know, I had to move from there mm. because I wanted to laugh. Because they became so affected. In fact, it became like it's not a wedding anymore. <laughs> But people now started asking themselves, you, and you, are you married, you? So, that's the number one thing th where we have to start from. Mm. Joy is not married. Yes. And what I'm trying to say is that people need to analyze their relationships. Mm -hmm. Where are they? How far are they? What have they done? And if it's not marriage, then decide, am I getting married or not? Mm. And that's the one decision I need for Joy mm. to make. Yes. That's the decision I made Lynn. Me, I was in a legal marriage, and I think I mentioned to you, my wedding had over a thousand people. Yes. But I also made that decision whether I'm going to stay in an abusive marriage oh or not. God. And so for Lynn, you have to make that decision. Mm. Now, number two, mm. have to separate the issues. There is the relationship that you had, and then there is co-parenting. Mm. You have to separate. Mm. Legally, even there is no relationship. In fact, when a marriage breaks up lean, we have three possible, ca we have three cases we deal with. Mm. A legal marriage, it has broken up. One, we run to the children's court. What are we going to do? And Joy is already there. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? 
how are we going to parent, were they going to school, who is going to pay which bills. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the divorce court, mm -hmm. in another court completely. Yes. We talk about relationship. And remember, I'm talking about a legal marriage. marriage. Are we, now, one, one of the people has to go to that court yes. and now say, I want my marriage dissolved. Mm. And then we talk about matrimonial property, mm -hmm. if there is need. Mm. So that's the, one, the next thing that now Joy needs to do. I thank God for how far she's come. She's strong. She's strong in the Lord. Now it's the future. Yes. And it's her and her girls. Don't mix the issues. Mm. Don't at all. Mm. So even that issue of babe, what, 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 have very clear lines. Yeah. Now we are talking about the children. What are you doing? Mm. What am I doing? Mm. At this particular point, yeah. because there is abuse, mm. there is manipulation, mm. there is him playing with her psychology, mm. and then they are the kids. Mm. But the kids and their dad, mm. this is a complete separate mm. entity. Mm. For her, mm. at this particular point, mm. do you think it's going to be so hard for her mm. to even give him access mm. to the kids? Okay, I've not seen the court order, but mm. maybe he's been given, he's been given limited mm. access or unlimited. No, there is no visitation light. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to, uh, the first court orders, mm. they were like, when the children are sick, he's mm. supposed to show up. Yes. Mm. 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 By in, in the other means. But when we went there, there on March, Alisema Yeawezi is busy. Nakambua tu megari, na kuna msichana wa, wakubeba mtoto watatu. So, hapo ndiu inakujilia, but about coming, to my house, Ajawai Pew, Ajawai Pew, your asses. Naya, I'm away and I could jungle who come and eat sickness. I made it that clear, Kwamaski. Come mm. and you're going to sour. So, I, I think uh, maybe what I would say, mm. Joy, follow the court orders as they are strictly. Because when, when you start giving a leeway and the court has not given. Because there is a reason, by the way, one of the things I've noticed about, uh, you know, those on the bench, which mm. are judges and magistrates, mm -hmm. they know a lot about psychology. So when you see somebody not being given access, it's not, you know, right now they've not even finished the, the whole, case, whole case. But there is a reason why they don't give access. Mm. Because they can tell you're abused. They can tell you're, 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 you're still recovering. Mm. So that access, let him go and follow up for the access. By the way, if he follows up, how is he how is he, how is he ambiwa access? Mm. But as he's asking for access, he will make certain commitments to the court that he has to take responsibility over in yes. terms of even care. Mm -hmm. In terms of, you, you get, but mm. now if you, you give him access, the court has not told him to access the children. Mm. Remember, where when you men here? Mm. So he can do anything. Because he never even promised the court or even committed even in an affidavit that he's a responsible father, mm. that he loves his children. Because mm. those are the things he's supposed to write in an affidavit yes. that will then make the court give him access. access. Let's talk about the yeah. manipulative mm. aspect of the, it. Yes. You see it's heavy on her right now. I would suggest yeah. let the communication not be first of all on call mm. because what abusers do, they use their voice. Mm. And Joy can tell you how she feels when she hears his voice, unless I'm wrong. What do you feel? Uh, I ca okay, before I went to the court, I mean, Nakanga too, Unona, you confused. Mm -hmm. Is this person genuine? Mm -hmm. Today is calling, like, is manipulating me with Watoto mm. Joy, I've been thinking about what you are telling me about. Kupata in inia watu tunaitangwa the health cover mm. apart from the NHF, like in insurance. Uh, insurance. Then I'm thinking of the saving. Now now watu tuna paswa ende na masomo mazuri mm. to fungue. Then I'm like, okay, unafikilia umeanza kufikilia. Then I'm just left there with. Them. Is he genuine? Mm. Is he genuine? Mm -hmm. And sasa ni kanza ku speak out with my my parents. So so when unona so so inaonekana si unona vile watu na yona si mbaya 
so ata eleweki so mwenye anaumia ni nani it's you mm. it's me yes. mm. so yeah the psycho so i would mm. suggest mm. let the communication for now be very official with time if there uh, relationships becomes more cordial mm -hmm. it is okay mm. but for now until he picks up responsibility as until she also recovers let lawyers write to one another mm. if there is text message that's not bad mm -hmm. we any other time you want to use the text message you can use it anyway yes but that thing of calls i'm thinking this babe this i'm doing this you know yeah. because she also will never she'll never be able to you know how i was listening to her saying mm. she got lost she couldn't know ni nani you know she'll never get that joy the girl she was back the girl who walked into uh, mr Atwa atwali's office yes. she'll that never get it. back there because she's speaking to an abuser mm. and a manipulator mm. so she needs now that communication mm. can, even from wherever he is in the cell or whatever mm. because now what he's also trying to do is to make her feel guilty mm -hmm. do you feel guilty let me tell you, thank you for mentioning mm. this. I was feeling so guilty. Mm -hmm. Because he went there and he called me. I still love you, but kutaka ni kuja huku. I still love my babies. Then that love I questioned, I told him, you wanted this matter to come that far. I couldn't do anything. Niliambua nilipe zina ito ajile fi unalipanga 1800 ya mtu afungwe so i was like i cried niliona mwisho wangu imefika hapo when he went there he still calling and then like the other night i told my mom napokea simu nitawaonyesha midnight mm. from prison so like ni mgonjwa then like i have second thought can i go and visit him we talk mm. then i'm like abana See, mimi ni kona hiyo kisi, but trust, I'll show you that message. I was so disgusted. They were calling from 1, 1 p.m., 2, mm. then I realized, mm. ananifuatilia ajue, if I moved on, I'm with any other man. Then I, I told mama, panata kama uya skelia na jifanya is giving me information, there is no information there. They does want to distract me. Ni sikai pata amani. Akikosa usingizi mahali yako na kosa. Then I texted them. Ni kambi as from, I'll show you them. As from today, I do want to receive calls latest. To whoever he is, is Francis is from you, Askali. To whoever he is, the latest call I want to receive is from 9 p.m. And I don't think like, Tuko na kitu ya kuongea. The last mm -hmm. time I lipiga simu yu askali saa tatu ni mwambi, excuse me, I'm sleeping. Can't you see the time? What do you think about that, Susan? Okay, you know the, the thing about uh, a legal process, because mm. now she's part of a process. Mm. Um, you, ha you remember I mentioned to you, I've had a court case running from when? 2011. Mm. Joy, you need to there will be a life change. The free girl you were before, mm -hmm. it's not the same. Every action you take, you weigh. Mm -hmm. Is this for my good of my case mm -hmm. or not for my case? Because we ukipokea simu and you're talking and what, where does the magistrate or the law come in? They have other cases to deal with mm -hmm. that are urgent. Kama mneza ungeleshana na kuambie, actually I'm thinking of this, I'm thinking this, I, I love you, I don't know what. So what usually happens with that is that uh, when now, because he will, he will come out and show that it's like you're negotiating. Mm -hmm. It's like you're managing the bills that you have na umempatia time atafute pesa. Unaona ni kitu ya kubai time? Yes. And this is an irresponsible person. Mm. Yeah. So, please joy from today. Mm. Anything he wants to do, it's a matter of action. Mm. He can do it. Yeah. And I'm not saying maybe you'll never end up together or I don't know what. But for now, you're in the middle of a court battle. Mm -hmm. Those 
cause, what, what? Because if he's saying, I'm calling to tell you, I'm thinking about NHIF, mm. or I'm thinking about uh, an insurance. Uh, see what I'm pelekea forms na ata sign. Yes. yes. Na pesa itatoka kwa account ama itoke mali itatoka mm. na iende ilipe insurance. Mm. You, he does not even need to consult you. Mm -hmm. In fact, most of the insurance covers these days are here. Mm. You don't even need a principal. Wana pele, wana pa, as long as watoto wa, wako, maybe they have birth certificate, watapa, wapati an insurance they cover. Are go. They are good to go. Mm. So reduce those back and forth of calls and what. Just reduce, mm. talk official things until you get to a place you understand. How is my life now? Where am I going? Mm. Yeah. What is this person saying? Same. Yeah. Let me, uh, of legal matters, mm. Susan, mm. and I like that you've told her there's going to be a change, mm. and she will smile again. Mm. Right now, I think she's feeling the mm. burden, but you see, Susan is here and she's mm. smiling again mm. after what you've been through. Mm. From one woman to another, mm. what would you like to tell her? Yeah, I think uh, one of the things I'll tell you, Joy, is take care of your life. Yeah, take care of you. Even me, I was suicidal. Like, I, I think now, Lini, imagine coming in Gekufa, Ningekufa Nini. Ningekufa Mtuata Hakuwa Nani Jali, he didn't care, he didn't love me. Didn't. You know, you're dying for that. Mm. For what? At least I know now what the other day we went to the mall with my sons. Mm. I have three boys. Mm. They are all now taller than me. Yes. You know, and I was thinking, imagine Ningekufa Ningekufa Nini. You see, so number one, your life is, as long as joy unamuka unaona unapumua, take care of your life that day. Sure. Number two, maneno ya relationships here and there. Make a decision, a final decision. Maybe not now, you're, you're, maybe you're, you're still recovering. But get to a place where you make a decision. Is this the man you want to live with or not? If he's not the one, kata kauli once. Don't have that back and forth. I'm coming to, even if he's coming, that's why, by the way, our court orders, the way access is done, it's mm. done in a hotel. Mm. It's usually not, or in a mall. Not home. It's not done in a house. Before you know it, watoto wengine wataingia. Your access ya nyumba is almost, <laughs> is the worst access mm. you can ever do. Mm. This has been your partner. Yes. Anakuelewa, unamuelewa, you've had an intimate relationship. So, once ukikata kauli joy, as an older woman, I'm telling you, kata kauli kabisa. And then, if you want to move on, this is a tip I tell all women. And I don't mind, you know me, I do my things mm. on air. Mm. If you want to move on and get into marriage, and you're a Christian girl, so I can talk to you, I'm maybe talking to a Christian audience. Mm. Hiyo maneno ya kulala na mtu ngiyo ati you're preparing for marriage as you how you become intimate and this person because this is how you got here. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's not true. This it's is how you sure. got to here mm. by sleeping with somebody who is not your husband. Yeah. This is how we are now on this show. <laughs> true story. <laughs> true story. That is why we are here. Mm. Please make a decision. Somebody who is serious with you, Joy. Me and Susan, I'm still waiting. Yes. You see, yeah. somebody who is serious with me, atanioa without that business of sleeping around. Sure. You get, make that decision. Mm. Work on your career, mm. just be focused. Mm. Yeah. Plus, you are very young. You are 26 now. Yeah. Yeah. You, are twen you, you are 26. I'll be, I'll be turning 27 on November 23rd. Oh. You are no, your birthday is November 23rd. Yeah. I know a couple of people's <laughs> birthdays are on November 23rd. Mm. It's a so special day for so many people birthday. in my life. Imagine huh? and, me I'm still, and me, I'm, sti I'm about to turn 44. I'm still young. Yes, <laughs> very young. <laughs> 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 I'm still, I'm still very young. <laughs> your dreams are going to go to Canada. Yes. You still wa you still the process. Yes. I wanted to mention something about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, you're going, as I told you, life joy has changed. Watoto wame kukuja, haja kukata migu. Before you get to a place where you're traveling, get a proper court order that gives you custody. Don't go and who na ask custody or ya watoto. Ya watoto. Mm. Atachukua watoto. Atachukua watoto. Unaona? Mm. So get a proper order. You can even do joint legal custody. Mm -hmm. You can even do sole custody. That may be better so that you can travel with the children. And there is even a possibility that 
he, you can assist him because this is somebody who has also been traveling. He can access the children in Canada. Mm. By the way, see at in asemo mnyanganye watoto. Mm. But get a proper court order so that usingie tu kwa dege uende before you know it kurudi watoto, watoto, washaenda. watoto washaenda. See, you know that can happen. I know it can happen. So so nebime. Canada bado utaenda. Utaenda, kama but how to, the how to do it. Yes, kama ilikui miandiku utaenda Canada, mm. utaenda Canada. You In know Jesus that. Name, Amen. Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. 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 And you can even mm. help him to visit you in Canada, which will still be good for him. Atakuja, aone watoto, na uko, of course, hakuna mchezo. And if even he wants to act or do whatever he wants to do, he can do it. Yes. But now, what I'm trying to say is establish boundaries. boundaries is and the that word. you've helped me because, like, ununa hiyo sasa ni mechukua watoto, you see, like, he has to assess the children, take the children to the hospital. Mm. Na kuna hiyo sasa, unaona jambu wakuje, but he has to take to the, the children mm. to the hospital. Mm. He's the one who is providing mm. the gari ya mm. Like that first day, si kutaka ajue kwangu, because I said of security reasons, mm. like now, I'm 50-50 because you don't know who you mtu wameka njela for that day, what he can do to you. Mm. So, tulienda kwa auntie, you see, she's married, you can't, wakatu watoto ni wagonjo all the time, is there. Na hata tu mapesa nipeleke watoto li in hospital, sasa li end up kujua kwa nani? Kwa kwangu. Na najua kwangu na instances yote ni wakatu hospital. So, hiyo ineza fanyo ji because like now I feel like... Well, I'm also stressed because security. Mm. Okay. You know what? The, the other thing I want to, we are Christians, mm. na tunasema sasa kwa show. Mm. Watoto wako watakua wanaenda kwa hospitali out of only checkup. Yes. Not maneno ya ugonjwa. Iyo maneno ya ugonjwa, tuwa kwa mdomo yako kabisa. No ugonjwa anymore, no sickness. Mm. So, uh, that's number one. Then number two, sasa, uh, you, you, you'll see how to maybe here make sure you know the you know the police station mm. you know the police know you they know this case yeah. always make sure that wherever you are at mm. least you know the the people around you know mm. you you understand mm. and then also uh, an abuser is a very interesting person if they know you are self-aware and you know your rights mm. and you can stand up to them wana wana torokanga kabisa mm. Abusers work well when you're still a victim. Yeah. When you stop being a victim, you'll realize ata kuondokea kabisa. Hauta muona tena. Abusers work well when, when you're they know you are still a victim. Yes. That's very strong. Yes. And she's not a victim She's not anymore. a victim anymore. You get it. Mm. You are not a victim mm. anymore. Mm. I want to wind up, Susan. Mm. Is there anything you would want to add? Yeah, I mm. think maybe just to, to tell Joy, just to you know, look at the environment around you. Not mm -hmm. everybody needs to know your plans. Mm -hmm. Not everybody no needs to know the details of what you're planning. Mm -hmm. So some things we will talk off camera. Mm -hmm. How you organize yourself. How do you live through a court order? I've been doing it for 11 years. Not as a lawyer, mm -hmm. but as a as woman a and mm -hmm. as a mother. I've had a court order, fol been following a court order for 11 years. Mm -hmm. There are things you have to know who do you talk to who are actually your friends mm. which relatives are your friends yeah. you know mm. so and then who will you walk this life journey with yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm one of them lynn is here and you'll do well you'll do yes well. yes you hear, hear joy yeah. you'll do wonders mm. and at this point i want to you to do something i want you to talk to yourself you said you are very vibrant You've spoken about how you loved life. Look, I, I, it sparkles and your name is Joy. Mm. So I would want you first to talk to yourself mm. and then talk to your daughters. You could start probably with Dear Joy. Dear Joy, mm. I've made mistakes. I forgive myself. I'm strong. I'm not foolish. And I'm a strong lady and a breast mom. Mm. I can I can still do it. Mm. I have a chance. Mm. God has given me a second chance. And now many kupitia maombi na nguvu 
nimejiweka na neno la Bwana nitasimama imara na Mungu sababu amenikatia amenipatia wakati mwingine joy you have to play your cards well na Yes, keep on okay. trying. Yes. It will be well. Mm. It is well. Mm. What would you want your daughters to know or what would you tell your daughters when they grow up and they watch this? What would you want them to know? To my dear babies. Favor, peace and blessings. You kind of a prayer to me like you mean everything to me you my life and i will fight for you i'll give you the best i wish to give and there is nothing which is going to change now and forever as strong as i'm alive you'll have nothing but the best in this life and that one is a guarantee from me and despite of whatever happened between me and your father I love you. I'll fight for you. You've made me strong. So should you continue being strong for me mm -hmm. and I love you. I love you. Yes, and we love you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know your numbers have also been here on the screen, mm -hmm. but because this is a community mm -hmm. and we are not going to let you walk through this journey alone, we plan on being active participants in your life. Mm -hmm. Nataka watu wangu walete nan walete pampas mm. wasaidie penye patawezekana i want my community to come together <laughs> if this is the only show we do this month where we are asking our community to come together and help i would want them to so maybe remind them again where can they find you and give them your full names as they reflect on mpesa uh, my, uh, my name is Joyce mm. Mwenda Gitonga mm. plus 25 Seven no, plus two, two five, five four. four. Plus two five four. Mm. <laughs> seven two seven seven two seven two six five. Uh, the other number is tr is plus two five four mm -hmm. seven twenty eight fifty eight uh, fifty one thirty two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all those are your numbers. Yeah. You will have access to any help that people send yeah. your way. I wish you well, Joy. This is yeah. just so the beginning. Mm -hmm. Your triplets are now part of the Lingugi Network community. <laughs> you get it. Our watcher, wow, to Napeleka Shule in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And as Susan has said, they are not going to be sick. No. Wanna end a checkup. Mm experience some joy in your life because you deserve it mm. you get it eh? and when we even come here for a follow-up it will be it will not just be anything you know sometimes the people who come through for you are people you've never met mm. in your life mm. and i can tell you joy this burden mm. allow us to lift it mm. from your shoulders mm. Sinisawa. they are using none they're using NAN3 because like... How much is NAN3? <laughs> right now I take mm. it at 14.50. Can I buy you three today? <laughs> Thank you so much. Because I, I want to be an example. <laughs> mm. I'll get you three today. Mm. As we wait mm. and see Nisawa. Mm. And I'll buy her two. Ah, <laughs> oh God. We have five. Mm. We have five <laughs> bottle we have five containers of nan mm. wal pampas mulete pampas tafadhali ah watoto tunalea pamoja my people eh jo, joy it's okay thank you so much it's okay mm -hmm. thank you so thank you it's okay all right and this is just the beginning <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> 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 hey, and this is just a beginning. Thank you so much. Hour. This is just a beginning. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And guys, for Lenny, Leon, it's okay because mm. that's what we need to do in mm. life mm. we have to hold each other's hand mm. look at how smart you are 
I refuse so to believe beautiful. you dressed for the show. And this is how you will be dressing. Karembo ke tu karudi sawa. Sawa. And God will take care of you. Mm. All right? And you guys that are watching me back at home, huh? I always say, if we don't impact a life, there's not much that we are doing. Fortunately, we cannot say unfortunately. Fortunately, today we need to impact four lives. Joy and her wonderful triplets. Guys, let's just come together the best way we know how. I know this can be done. Whether you are going to be supporting her emotionally, financially, spiritually, and even all the people that we have here on the show that can i love that i've heard she's gone through counseling and a couple of therapy but if there is one person that can give her therapy you know someone who can help her walk through this journey and let her believe that she's can be joy again we welcome your collaboration on the show these are our kids now my people at Lingugi Network, these are our kids now. And we have to take care of favor, peace, and blessings the best way we know how. So her contact details have been on your screen. Send her whichever support you can. Send her a text message. Encourage her. Pray for her. This is the part I say my people pray as up. And I'm glad, Susan, you are able to join yeah. us for this conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm also realizing... Joy, she mentioned she's gone through depression. I know that's postpartum mm. depression, mm. and maybe it's just it's just time we did a show about it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe we could all do a show on postpartum depression. Um, let me just check. I do these things so randomly. Uh, a director, what is the date today? Can two Saturdays from now, not the coming Saturday, the other one. Yeah. We do have a Saturday after election, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The Saturday after election, the date will be right here. The Saturday after elections. Yeah, I believe the date will be right here. You can RSVP. I'll see if I can also have Susan with us on our panelists and we can do a live show. Probably a hundred people where we can just come together mm -hmm. and talk about this topic and you will be okay. So, the 13th. 13th. All right. So let's say tentatively on 13th, RSVP through this email on your screen eh? and let's have this conversation. And again, uh, Susan, thank you. Maybe You're people welcome. will be like, where can they find you? Okay. Yes. Uh, the number is 0722 734 228. Again, 0722 36 at gmail.com at gmail.com yeah, yeah. yes uh, of course you've heard from our advocate uh, Susan Kagwe who is a family uh, lawyer you specialize in yeah. matters a uh, family and you guys you can also reach her out these are her contact details right here on the screen enjoy as we leave this place today I wish you the very best may God take good care of you and your babies and the journey has just begun. Mm. Sawa sawa. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And to everyone that is watching us, thank you so much. We appreciate your mm. help on the show. Mm. And obviously, I don't get to do this alone with my amazing camera person and director. By the way, Maliza Kukanza Kunyesha, my amazing camera person and director, the legendary uh, Edwin Ochieng. Thank you so much, bro, for everything you do here on the show. And of course, our incredible editor and graphics designer, David Moredi for taking time compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you right on time. My name is Lynn Gugi. Till next time, bye-bye.